I accumulated all this Vargas stuff and I realized that he was the best. So I thought, oh, you know, we could do like a pinup thing. The first thing I did was think of, well, we have to hire somebody who can paint like that and make us our cover. And then I thought, I think, they, I think that Vargas is still alive, if I'm not mistaken. So I had the art department check and they said, oh yeah, he's in Westwood. And next thing, I'm at his house. I spent a whole day with him showing me his artwork. That was unbelievable. I had never seen a real Vargas painting, ever. He was taken out from under his bed. He was also chain smoking like Lucky Strikes or something. Well, he was talking to me and the paintings were just below him. And he's waving his arm, telling me stories. I'm looking at that ash moving around. He had a cup of coffee at another time, waving a cup of coffee. I'm just like, my head's spinning. And then, you know, then he said he would do it. All we said was, this is what we need her for, and vaguely what she should maybe look like. It turned out her name was Candy. So people were thinking we named it after her, and no, we didn't her actual name was Candy. We went to a Ferrari dealership, and I can't believe they let her get on the car, but she had her shoes on, and it was like on the hood of the car. And we moved her all around as we took pictures. And then I think at one point I said, I think we're forgetting that she has to fit into a square. So at the very end, we, you know, we're like, <laughs> like, kind of like this, we thought, oh yeah, a lot of these pictures aren't really going to work. If we want her to fill up the entire square and the poster, I think we only took a couple of pictures like that too, as far as I remember. Those were maybe the last pictures that we took. The cover got so much attention, way more than I even expected. We went to Japan in anticipation. Art magazines wanted to interview me. They were so interested in the cover. People would sit down and talk about it. Vargas' technique and they knew the whole history of his work. It's pretty much my favorite album actually music-wise. Vargas came eventually to one of our shows and he he, he said, uh, he like, just come over here. So he says to me, yeah, you know, I, I don't really know about your music, but I know everybody likes it and, and I, I'm sure it's really good music. He said, but I think I see something you like about it. I go, what's that? He goes, pretty girls everywhere. <laughs>